Welcome back to Great Day Live. Today, we're headed to church for the holiday with Pastor Tyler McKenzie in the community of Northeast Christian Church. Pastor Tyler, Northeast is known as the Love the Ville Church. What does that mean exactly? Yeah, well, uh, to be honest with you, it's it's a PR move is what it is. It's a PR move. Now, let me let me explain that because, you know, churches aren't supposed to be about PR. But that five, six years ago, we just got this general sense as a church that the church broadly in our state and in our country had a real PR problem. When people heard the word church, they thought of something, especially those outside of the church. And it usually wasn't good. And it definitely wasn't Jesus's love. And we were like, if we're going to be known for one thing uh, as a church, then we want to be known for love. So about five or six years ago, so we're going to change our DNA. And if we accomplish anything over the next five to six years, it's that we're going to establish a reputation for ourselves in this community as the Love the Ville Church. So it started in, I think, 2014, 2015. We did a, a really big serve day. It was low commitment, but high impact. We recruited everybody in our church to join us. I remember we had about 2,000 people show up, and we went out to the Clifton community where one of our campuses is, and we served that community. Uh, in fact, it was really, really cool. Um, our Love the Ville movement is built on a singular question. How can we help? We never assume that we know what people need. In fact, we go to leaders who, uh, who are leading you know, nonprofits or in communities and, uh, that we want to impact, and we just ask, how can we help? Because usually those leaders know what's needed. So uh, our staff went to the Clifton community probably two weeks before we blitzed, and we knocked on doors. We knocked on doors of local businesses. We called uh, the uh, Metro uh, Councilman. We went to some of the bars and uh, some of the hubs and hangouts, and we said, who in this community needs a little bit of extra love from the church? And I'm going to tell you what, we got a list. Uh, it was a mile long, and we spread it out among our 2,000 people, and we served that day. Three to four hours later, in the middle of July, we wiped sweat off our brows, and we're like, we, I think we did something good here. Now, in the coming weeks after that, the people of our church— uh, had really one piece of feedback uh, for our leadership after that first blitz day. Uh, they said, Tyler, when are we doing this again? When are we doing it again? Because this is what we should be about. So the next year, we expanded it from a serve day to an entire summer of serve events. And we had five or six different serve opportunities. Our people jumped all over it. And it was the same feedback after that summer. Tyler, when are we doing this again? And so the next day we expanded it from a serve summer to an entire year of service. We called it Love the Ville 365. And we said as a church, we shouldn't be about serve days. We should establish a serve DNA. And that's when we began to cultivate really deep partnerships with uh, local public schools or nonprofits who are serving uh, marginalized peoples. Or we began starting conversations with local governmental leaders about pressing needs that our city has and how our church can lean into it. In fact, it was that year that we really started a big fundraising effort around it. And every Christmas uh, season, we do one big offering. That's what we call it in church, uh, one big offering. And uh, for the last three years, We've raised over a million dollars each year, and 100% of that goes back out into the community, into our partnerships, and into our compassion initiatives. Uh, and it's been really fun to watch this thing just snowball. You know, it started small. It started with a few hours one day, and then here we are, and we have thousands of people serving tens of thousands of hours and donating millions of dollars. Uh, I'm so proud of our church. That's a powerful thing to evolve from a day to the, it needs to be integrated into your DNA. And yeah. I know what I'm feeling right now. And I know our great day live audience has to be feeling the same thing. Tyler, we want in, how can people be a part of it? Such a movement in our community. Well, uh, the first thing I would tell everyone to do is to just begin to live the code. Live the code in your everyday life. You don't have to gather thousands of people. You don't have to start a movement. You don't have to like film a video on your iPhone and go viral on Facebook or raise millions of dollars. You can just start looking around your everyday life and ask that one simple question. How can I help? Uh, we say it around here uh, like this at Northeast. We want to unleash Jesus's love every day, everybody, everywhere. So look at your workplace. 
Uh, look in your home. Those are areas you have influence in. Look in your friend group. Look in your worship community. Uh, you know, look, look around the city and ask yourself, what do I have a passion for? Or where are there really specific needs in the lives of those who I love that I, I, can, I can step up and meet? And then go and, and talk to those people. Start conversations. Ha, uh, uh, help them in ways that you can. Um, one thing that we always tell folks to do is, hey, when you're at work, open your eyes and look around. And I guarantee you, you will see need in uh, some of your coworkers, some of your friends that you're spending so much time with. And then meet those needs in really simple ways. One of the ways we encourage our kids in our church is to say, kids, do you want to give your parents uh, a heart attack? Then, then go home and ask them, mommy, daddy, how can I help you today? And they'll go, <gasps> you know, they're like, who are you? Like, this, is this, there been an alien invasion? Like, what did you do with my child? Um, and it's a simple question, but it's powerful. So first I'd say, live the code. Um, second, I would say there are amazing people all around the city who have started nonprofits and have started ministries that are impacting just about every segment of this city that you could want to impact. So for us, we don't try to really create the will rather, uh, or recreate the wheel, rather we try to find great partners around the city who are doing what we want to do and then come alongside them and fuel their mission. So if people are looking for partners, I don't care what your passion is. I guarantee you, we know somebody who's doing it well. Uh, so uh, give us a call and we can connect you directly to them. As part of Northeast's mission to love the Ville and to do that, like you said, is part of your DNA every single day, every moment, really. You have you have produced, I mean, and I have to say this, it is absolutely incredible. I've already seen it. Um, a short film that is just absolutely powerful. And I encourage everyone, regardless of where you are today, to watch that. Can you share a little bit about that, Pastor Tyler? Yes. Yeah, so shout out to Corbin Marshall and Jonathan Thomas on our team at church for leading the production of the short film, Someone Worthy. You can find it at christmasexperience.org, christmasexperience.org. Go there right now. You can get the soundtrack. You can get the, the short film. It's 28 minutes. All right. So uh, you can watch it once really quick, and then you can watch it 10 more times like my kids have made me watch it. But uh, here was our heart behind it. Uh, this is such a weird Christmas season. A lot of people aren't going to get to do the traditional things that they normally get to do. They might not get to go to their church service uh, this year or visit their family or, or go see Santa. Or what, lots of those traditions have been put on pause or uh, have been uh, drastically reshaped. So we wanted to give another gift to the Ville. It's a unique way for us to love the Ville. Um, and we created this short film that I think you will find is just magical. Uh, the talent in it is spectacular. Uh, shout out to Darian Sanders and you know to Estancia, Jason Claiborne, Brian Starr. These are amazing people who brought their musical abilities and acting abilities to the stage. And uh, they're going to tell the Christmas story, but they tell it in a modern way. Uh, these are And these are local people. And you'll see a lot of local sites. We filmed it here in the Ville. So you'll see spots downtown. Uh, you'll see uh, spots on the east, down the west. And, and uh, I, th I think what you'll find is that this film will spark some hope in your heart during this Christmas season when you need it. And uh, it'll also be something that you want to share with your friends and your family. I guarantee that. I and already have. Now, coming up after the break, we'll have more with Pastor Tyler and Northeast Christian Church. We're glad you're with us this morning. We'll be right back.